I'm Jordan Wichman. And I'm Ashley Iverson. And we're the certified nurse midwives here at Benefice Health System. The word midwife actually is Old English for with women. Um, and I think that's a really good just descriptor of what your care with the survived nurse midwife would look like. Uh, the way things are set up is that we often just have more time to spend um, in visits, answering questions, providing education, uh, and additionally, in during you know labor and delivery, we can be a little more present during your birth experience. A lot of times, people you know hear the word midwife and think that that means home birth or out of hospital birth in some way. Um, and for most of the time in those situations, that midwife is a direct entry midwife or a certified professional midwife. Certified nurse midwives, which is what Jordan and I are, um, the vast majority practice in the hospital setting. So there are some that practice out of hospital, but um, typically nurse midwives are providing care in the hospital. So in the state of Montana, uh, we are under advanced practice registered nurses. Um, so that puts us at the same level as a nurse practitioner, or you could consider a certified nurse midwife as an OB nurse practitioner, or OBGYN nurse practitioner. Um, and by using that term, sometimes people have a better understanding of our role and our scope as certified nurse midwives. Doulas are actually non-medical birth professionals, and they're a great addition to any birth team, uh, but their main role is to provide emotional support, um, you know, help, help parents with different positioning and such for comfort during labor, uh, but they do not make medical decisions or manage the labor uh, in that way. So you might have a, a, a doula in addition to a midwife or an obstetrician, but you wouldn't have one in replace, like to replace a midwife or an obstetrician. The other thing is usually a doula is there all the time, where as a midwife we may have multiple patients on the floor, and so we're going to spend as much time as we can with you during your labor um, and delivery, well of course the delivery, but as much time in the labor, but we may have to step out and tend to other patients as well. As certified nurse midwives, we do practice in the hospital, so a lot of the things may look similar on whether you would choose a nurse midwife or an obstetrician when delivering here at Benefice. Um, there are still nurses that are, will be involved in your care. Uh, Jordan and I are independent providers, though. We catch babies. We can do, we take really good care of you at that. Uh, during that time um, and again just how things are set up we tend to be a little more present throughout the labor and delivery process so it may look like just checking in a little more frequently um, for some of our patients that choose to go with with like an unmedicated labor we like to be there offering more labor support um, counter pressure doing various things to make the process more comfortable as nurse midwives, we do not perform surgery, so if there were to be a situation where someone requires a cesarean delivery, at that point we would be able to, we would be transferring care to um, our colleague physicians, and we feel really grateful to work in a really collaborative, supportive environment um, with awesome physicians. So, kind of no matter who you come and see, you're going to be in good hands here. And um, with that, that was the question about if you're high risk, that's a really broad category. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will be able to see a midwife, but we'll definitely collaborate with those OBGYN providers that we have here. Um, it could mean that they're managing the medical complication and we're managing the labor and delivery. Um, there's lots of ways that we can be creative to provide midwifery care to high risk patients as well. For example, um, certain conditions like gestational hypertension or high blood pressure in pregnancy or gestational diabetes, which is, again, diabetes in pregnancy, um, those are considered high-risk conditions, high-risk pregnancies, and we would still be comfortable managing you know, the care of um, those patients. So. So as midwives, we are independent providers, um, so we would be in charge of all of your prenatal care, ordering labs, uh, ordering ultrasounds, ordering referrals as needed. Um, a lot of ways the care is going to look the same, whether you see a midwife or an obstetrician. I think kind of the bigger thing is 
just how we talked about earlier, the system setup where we just have typically a little more time during visits to answer questions, provide education, um, and just check in and see how things are going. So it's not a big difference in terms of the labs we're doing or kind of that plan of care, standard prenatal care. So we currently don't have tubs in our rooms, um, but we have large, excellent showers that um, will still provide hydrotherapy to provide you comfort during your labor and birth. That's a good question. There actually, no, there are no additional costs to utilize in the place. With the um, addition of the new Women and Children's Center, we're really excited to be adding the midwifery model of care to Memphis Health System. Currently, we're going to be working as a team um, with hopes to grow um, in the years to come. Jordan and I are a midwife team together, the two of us, and we work within a you know, greater OB team. So it's currently two midwives, three OBs. Um, we will see our own patients for the most part and try to cover call and be at their birth, you know, our patients first as much as possible. There will be some times that we are not available, um, and in that case, in, in those times, we're very happy that we have such good um, you know, physician colleagues to work with who will help take good care of our patients. Throughout your prenatal care, there's a possibility that you may see, or that you will see both of us, um, depending on your schedule and our schedules, um, just to provide you the best um, most flexible and convenient care. I hear a lot of times people are concerned that if they come to a midwife they can't have an epidural and that's not the case at all. So um, we are just feel really strongly about shared decision making and supporting you in the decisions that make you feel safe and respected throughout your care, um, you know, pregnancy, labor and delivery. So um, do our patients get epidurals? Absolutely, if that's what they want to do. Do we have patients who have unmedicated childbirth? Absolutely. Um, and we feel very comfortable supporting you in whatever, whatever direction you want to go, so. A lot of times people hear midwife and they just think like babies, labor, delivery, um, but we actually provide a lot of other services as well. So. Um, well woman care, you know, annual exams. Um, I really enjoy talking people through like family planning and contraceptive care. Um, and then we can also do, you know, if you have guide concerns, any problems, you know, come on in and see us. We can, it's not, we don't just do babies, so. <laughs> um, another piece that we are looking forward to doing with midwifery care is outreach, um, reaching our rural communities. Um, we know that this is this that that benefits is kind of the hub for um, labor and delivery care, and we want to be able to provide those routine OB appointments um, closer to home for for those families. Midwifery care is more than just pregnancy and birth. Um, we can see young girls from menses all the way through menopause. When we also do things like normal well women health and primary care as well. So as the um, obstetric, obstetrics group as a whole, um, we always have a provider on call um, for emergencies or questions. It may not necessarily be a midwife that you get when you call that number, um, but there would be someone available to guide you um, with any concerns that you may have. For more information or to schedule with Ashley or I, you can go to our website at www.benefits.org or you can call our office at 731-8017.